Hi, I'm Ben Kluzer, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create 30 days worth of content in under an hour using Opus Clip. And so if you're new to Opus, what it's going to allow us to do is insert one of our long form YouTube videos into it, and it will then generate multiple short form clips, which you can then further edit with animated captions, add both stock and AI B-roll, as well as being able to choose from different layout options if you have multiple speakers. And this combined with speaker detection makes Opus perfect for clipping up a wide array of content. Content. And on top of this, Opus now lets you schedule all of your content to be posted out on all of the platforms so you don't have to manually upload it to each one anymore. And so just before I get started, Opus is offering a free trial to new users, which you can get access to by clicking the link in the description. And so to get my 30 days of content, I'm personally looking to post around 30 clips, so one per day. And to ensure that these clips are the highest quality possible and there's lots of variety, I'm gonna be choosing from three to five long form videos with roughly five to 10 from each. So first, we're gonna start by uploading one of our long form links to Opus. This should take us through to this page here. We can then choose from a number of different preset caption templates based on some of the most popular creators, or you can select my templates where you can actually create and save your own, which I'll show you how to do later in the video, which will save you so much time going forward. Next, we can decide to only add captions without clipping. This is great if you're just uploading an existing short video and we wanna just add our caption template. We can then select the genre of the video and then dictate if we want Opus to only look for clips in a specific segment of the video. I'm personally just going to leave this on the max duration. We then also have the options to choose how long we want the clips to be. And I'm just gonna select 30, 30 to 60 and 60 to 90 seconds. And then finally, if we want Opus to look for clips with specific words, we can also do that here. Once we are done, we then click get clips and this should take around five to 10 minutes to process. Once that is finished, we will then be presented with this page here with all of the clips on. Opus will generate a ranking score here with obviously higher being better and also an explanation on why it thinks it's a good video along with the transcript. I will then proceed to playing through the clips to get a feel for them and understand what it has produced. And then this is the key thing here and most important part of the video. Whether your video performs well is usually all about the hook. The first three seconds, the first one second even so, is it compelling enough to make someone watch? Does it spark intrigue or controversy through emotion? It's no good having all the value packed in the middle if the hook isn't good enough to keep people's attention to get to that value. Opus itself does actually help with this by picking what it thinks is the best and most relevant hook for your video and will actually pull it from different sections if needed. However, they're not all gonna be perfect. Um, and this goes back to the point that I made at the beginning and why I'm using three to five videos to generate 30 clips because then I can be a bit more selective with which ones have the better hooks and this will then hopefully mean the videos in turn get more views on the platforms that I post them. And so once you've done that process, if you feel like you want to edit the clip a bit more or make adjustments, then we can click through to it. Here we'll be able to make adjustments to any of the text or highlight keywords and remove any fillers and pauses. We then click through to design. We can change the layout or change the layout preferences, which is really valuable for when you have multiple speakers. Screen share is when you can show yourself and also whatever you are screen sharing. And then next up, and one feature that I think is a huge time saver is the ability to add stock and AI B-roll. You just toggle this switch here, wait for it to process, and now you'll have B-roll added to your timeline. You can then go into it and actually regenerate it based on a prompt until you are satisfied with the result. If we then go back, we can then adjust our captions. Then as I mentioned earlier, once we've got our desired style, we go over to this option here. I'm gonna save it and then just rename it. This means if I now go back to the original screen, here we can just select this as our caption template without having to make any further adjustments to it. Once all this is done, we click save and compile and go back and repeat the process for the other clips if we need to, and then also the other YouTube videos that we want to use for the 30 days of content. And so just to set some expectation here, obviously the longer the video is, the more likelihood of there being more high quality clips. So that's always something to consider. You should also think about the video content itself. And was there actually lots of content within it that you think could make good short videos? This can help obviously meet your expectation when it comes to what Opus produces. And honestly, 
If you find that like the first video that you use actually has like 10 to 15 good clips, like don't set yourself a limit there. Actually just pick 12 or 13 if, if they're all good. And then on the next video, if there's only three, there's only three. On the next videos, if there's 10, there's 10. And then when you get to the end, have an evaluation of all of the clips and then just try your best to kind of rank them and pick the top ones or use all of them. It doesn't really matter. There's no exact process for this, but I just like to have a way of at least having lots to play with so I can filter them down. And then once this is all done, we have a few different options now. We can either just download the video by clicking here and saving it to our drive. We can click this PR logo, which will export our video as an XML file. So we can actually make further changes to it in Premiere Pro if that's what you would prefer to do. And then finally, we can then use the auto schedule to plan these in our calendar. There are two ways to do this. We can either click this button here, and then as you can see, I've got my YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram account connected. I select them all, and then choose the date, and then select schedule. Or what I think is the better way to bulk schedule across multiple videos is to go up top here and select calendar. You can see here, the one I just scheduled is there, but what I can actually do is click on the day, find the video, find the clip, select the count and then schedule. And then I can just repeat the process to get something like this and my 30 days worth of content is scheduled and done. And if you're interested in learning even more about Opus Clip, you should definitely check out the video on screen now.